This is the Uniqlo Ultralight Down Jacket, and it's one of the most popular and cheapest down jackets that you can find at only $60. And this is my Arc'teryx Cerium down jacket that I paid a whopping $400 for. What I want to know is why these two jackets that really feel so similar are so different in price. And I'm mostly curious if I got ripped off by paying $400 for a down jacket when I could have paid only 60. Which one is actually worth the cost? This is my show, gosh darn. Let's get ready to rumble! We've got the Uniqlo Ultralight Down versus the Arc'teryx Cerium Down Ultralight Down Jacket Showdown! Absolutely a new <laughs> level of cringe. Happy to be the cringe you never knew you needed in your life. You're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so the Uniqlo down jacket uses a 10 denier nylon shell and the Arc'teryx uses a 20 denier nylon, so twice as thick. This is a 750 fill down and this is an 850 fill. This one weighs only 8.3 ounces and this one weighs 10.2 ounces. In order to properly compare these jackets, I wanted to take them out on a day hike in some cold weather. So I took them out into the mountains of the Pacific Northwest, found some snow, and then I could really see how they matched up. Cut to snow, cut to hiking. Welcome to Snoqualmie Pass. Dude, I love this. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. Isn't this cool? Is this what science is? Science. <laughs> <laughs> Quick caveat about the fairness of this test. Uniqlo does not market the ultralight down jacket as a backpacking or hiking jacket. They market it as a city jacket. So I'm really doing this kind of unfair comparison because my big question is like, if this $60 jacket is actually warm enough for most backpackers or hikers, then like, it doesn't matter what the use is. It's just a really good affordable option for us to have as a layer in our packs. If Uniqlo was watching this video, they'd probably be like, why are you comparing your like Vespa scooter to a monster truck. That would not, Vespa scooter like a Ducati motorcycle. What's a Vespa again? <laughs> <laughs> Those are little like pink things that are like dee dee, right? So this hike that I decided to do was actually pretty easy and I didn't go very far. There was not a ton of like elevation gain. It is a really gorgeous day on this trail. I mean, it's like honestly perfect weather. Not too cold, but a really good temp for like testing this out. And so I was actually wearing this down jacket for the entire first mile or so of the hike. Oh, beautiful. Look how short it is. <laughs> Why is it that short? It is really loose in the middle. Um, it's the same size as my Arc'teryx. It's just kind of like a boxier fit. So I'm trying to tighten up the sides. <laughs> You can see <laughs> this like long string to try and keep some of the air out. So I just say just standing here though, I'm actually feeling pretty warm. It's so light. It weighs nothing. And so it feels like nothing when you first put it on. But um, actually right now I'm, I'm not cold. I feel pretty comfortable. I was actually like pleasantly surprised by how warm I was, but it didn't take very long before I started to notice the cold pockets in the jacket and really be aware of how much cold air was coming in through the like wide bottom on this jacket. This jacket is like so baggy. It is letting a ton of cold air in. I have a good test for the jacket. Oh yeah? What is it? So while I was wearing the Uniqlo down jacket, Rainer threw a snowball at me. Any good winter jacket has to pass one test. Okay. Which is like really just a test of the water repellency of the jacket. Ah! <laughs> and what wound up happening is like right above my boob where the snowball had hit me, there was just this like streak of water that just like remained there. So I guess, no, it did not pass the snowball test. Basically, as soon as this Uniqlo encountered like water directly. That is like quite damn. Yeah. The DWR just like quit on me. It was like, forget it. <laughs> like we're not designed for this. If this was a synthetic jacket, that wouldn't necessarily matter because synthetic insulation keeps you warm even when it's wet. But down insulation does not keep you warm when it's wet. 
which is why so many jackets are treated with something called a durable water repellency, which is essentially a treatment that's applied on the exterior of jackets, which helps to repel water and moisture. So that DWR is actually super important for the warmth of the jacket. And there's no point in owning a down jacket if you aren't like using it for warmth. Like that's what they're designed for. They're not just like designed for anything else, just warmth. That's it. So I'm going to chill here, just kind of like sit for like 20 or 30 minutes. What I want to find out is if this $60 Uniqlo down jacket can keep me warm once I am no longer generating my own heat. I was generating a ton of heat when I was hiking. So now I want to see if I stop, if the jacket will still keep me warm. If you're ever still for long enough, a jacket, you're like going to get cold, no matter like what you're wearing, I guess. But I want to see how quickly that happens wearing something like this. So it's probably been like 15 or 20 minutes that I've been either sitting here or just kind of like standing around in this area and I am definitely getting cold. I just feel like I'm losing body heat really quickly in my core. I kind of want to put on my other jacket now to see if it can warm me up. It's funny, after having such a boxy jacket on, now I'm like, this is too small. <laughs> I just put on my $400 Arc'teryx jacket and I'm already feeling warmer just sitting here than I was wearing the $60 Uniqlo down jacket. As someone who runs cold, I can already tell you that like this would not keep me warm enough in the vast majority of cold weather hikes. There's an element of disappointment to this for me because I was like really hoping to be surprised. You know, I was really hoping to be like, wow, I'm so wrong. This is gonna go in my backpack. We're gonna hike out of here. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> this is my Uniqlo receipt. Ta-da. Show us the price. $59.90. Save that. Yeah, once I can return it. <laughs> if you can see, this jacket's a lot longer. Like it comes down further. The sleeves are longer. It's less boxy. Um, so it just kind of like fits me a bit better. It's also a lot longer in the back. If you can tell, it like comes down, which means it kind of goes over my butt, which is very helpful for keeping you warm because your butt gets really cold. Just in general, butts, butts are cold, right? I'm pretty sure scientifically butts get cold. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> no one's like, my kneecaps are cold. I'm just saying I think butts are cold. Butts are an extremity. This is chaos. Hey. Look. We're going to hike back to the car. Yay. I will tell you my nips are cold. Bye, Miranda. Bye, Ryder. Look at that! <laughs> so I'm almost back to my car, and without a doubt, I can now say that this Arc'teryx Syrian jacket is definitely warmer than the Uniqlo Ultralight Down. Now, I'm not saying that that means that therefore it is better, that like $400 gets you something better, or that you even have to spend that amount of money on this jacket. And I still have a lot of questions around whether or not this is actually worth the cost. But it was a little bit of like a vote of confidence for me that this for sure feels way warmer than the other jacket. So I'm gonna take this back to the studio. I'm gonna do like a roundup comparison. And I also wanna test this against two of my other down jackets, including the one that I think personally is the best. Okay, back to the studio. <laughs> oh, that was nice. not a good one. I don't actually think that the cost difference between the Uniqlo and the Arc'teryx is mostly because of warmth. I think the main thing that you're paying for when you get a more expensive jacket is the durability of it. You're paying for a guarantee on how long it will last. You're paying for ease of use. You're paying for all sorts of material things that make it better suited for longer use than something like a $60 Uniqlo down jacket. All I would add, I think, is that we're living in a material world and that- I'm a material girl. Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> in the material world, and I am a material girl. So yeah, material-wise, definitely a thinner shell material on the Uniqlo than on the Arc'teryx. I can actually see that there are pockets where there is no down. So I'm gonna see if I can show you that with a headlamp. Magic hands. Thank you. If you look, you can kind of see, like up here, do you see where there's more light? There's just no down around these seams. And now let's do the Arc'teryx. And really all I'm doing is I'm just shining the light of this headlamp through the jacket because the areas where there is less down, you should be able to see the light more. Science. Okay, boop, boop. Let's see if this works. So if you can see in this jacket, 
Again, keep in mind it's a darker color, but you see where that light is shining through. You still have that same like more light shining through at the top of the baffle, but it's a lot harder to see the light through the insulation pocket there. It's a shocking amount more down. Anyway, <laughs> back to the show. <laughs> so if you are looking for a quality down jacket for backpacking, are you basically stuck paying $400? Luckily, no. These are two of my favorite down jackets. This is the REI 650 down and it costs $99. And this is my favorite down jacket of all time and it is the Ghost Whisper and it costs $350. I feel like these two jackets represent a really good option on either end of the price spectrum without being too expensive and without being like too cheap. The REI 650 down is awesome because it's a $99 down jacket, but it has a pretty good loft for its fill power. 650 fill down versus like the 750 on the Uniqlo, but it is much floofier and therefore a lot warmer than the Uniqlo. The Ghost Whisper is a awesome ultralight down jacket that weighs only 7.8 ounces, but I find that this is really warm, keeps me very well like insulated when I'm moving or when I'm stopped. And for me, it's just like the perfect price for something that I'm gonna use on every single trip and also is gonna keep me warm. So my ultimate conclusion between these two jackets is that the ultralight Uniqlo down jacket is just not nearly as durable as the Arc'teryx. So my assumption is that this wouldn't last as long as the Arc'teryx. That's what I thought, but one of my coworkers from the REI store in Soho actually has a Uniqlo ultralight down jacket. And this is that jacket. And he's had this thing for 10 years. What I do want to say is that I still don't love this jacket because even if it does last me 10 years, it's still too short. It's still too boxy. It's still not ideal for backpacking or for hiking, but like it's cute color. Buy it cause it's cute. Buy it cause it's cute. <laughs> and I am a material girl. So in the great down jacket showdown between the Uniqlo ultralight down jacket and the Arc'teryx cerium down jacket, which one is the winner? In my opinion, the Arc'teryx is a clear winner. My personal favorite down jacket is my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. And if you're looking for something less expensive, I would recommend the REI 650 down jacket. But if you want to try the Uniqlo, if you've been convinced by Frank's 10 year old down jacket that this is actually the best option, I would love to hear it in the comments below. And as always, if you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all outside. Bye. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Hard life, hard life. It was really tough for you. <laughs>